In statistics, the mean squared error of an estimator measures the average of the squares of the errors, that is, the difference between the estimator and what is estimated. MSE is a risk function, corresponding to the expected value of the squared error loss or quadratic loss. The difference occurs because of randomness or because the estimator doesn't account for information that could produce a more accurate estimate. The MSE is the second moment of the error, and thus incorporates both the variance of the estimator and its bias. For an unbiased estimator, the MSE is the variance of the estimator. Like the variance, MSE has the same units of measurement as the square of the quantity being estimated. In an analogy to standard deviation, taking the square root of MSE yields the root mean square error or root mean square deviation, which has the same units as the quantity being estimated. For an unbiased estimator, the RMSE is the square root of the variance, known as the standard deviation. Definition and basic properties. The MSE assesses the quality of an estimator or a predictor. Definition of an MSE differs according to whether one is describing an estimator or a predictor. Predictor if is a vector of predictions, and is the vector of observed values corresponding to the inputs to the function which generated the predictions. Then the MSE of the predictor can be estimated by i.e., the MSE is the mean. This is an easily computable quantity for a particular sample. Estimator The MSE of an estimator with respect to an unknown parameter is defined as this definition depends on the unknown parameter, and the MSE in this sense is a property of an estimator. Since an MSE is an expectation, it is not technically a random variable. That being said, the MSE could be a function of unknown parameters in which case any estimator of the MSE based on estimates of these parameters would be a function of the data and thus a random variable. The MSE can be written as the sum of the variance of the estimator and the squared bias of the estimator, providing a useful way to calculate the MSE and implying that in the case of unbiased estimators, the MSE and variance are equivalent. Proof of variance and bias relationship regression. In regression analysis, the term mean squared error is sometimes used to refer to the unbiased estimate of error variance, the residual sum of squares divided by the number of degrees of freedom. This definition for a known, computed quantity differs from the above definition for the computed MSE of a predictor in that a different denominator is used. The denominator is the sample size reduced by the number of model parameters estimated from the same data, for p regresses or if an intercept is used. For more details, see errors and residuals in statistics. Note that, although the MSE is not an unbiased estimator of the error variance, it is consistent, given the consistency of the predictor. Also in regression analysis, mean squared error, often referred to as mean squared prediction error or out-of-sample mean squared error, can refer to the mean value of the squared deviations of the predictions from the true values over an out-of-sample test space generated by a model estimated over a particular sample space. This also is a known, computed quantity, and it varies by sample and by out-of-sample test space. Examples Mean Suppose we have a random sample of size n from a population. Suppose the sample units were chosen with replacement. That is, the n units are selected one at a time, and previously selected units are still eligible for selection for all n draws. The usual estimator for the mean is the sample average which has an expected value equal to the true mean mu and a mean square error whereas the population variance. For a Gaussian distribution this is the best unbiased estimator, but not, say, for a uniform distribution. Variance The usual estimator for the variance is the corrected sample variance. This is unbiased, hence also called the unbiased sample variance. And its MSE is where is the fourth central moment of the distribution or population and is the excess ketosis. However, one can use other estimators for which are proportional to, and an appropriate choice can always give a lower mean square error.
If we define n the MSE as this is minimized when for a Gaussian distribution, where this means the MSE is minimized when dividing the sum by the minimum excess ketosis is, which is achieved by a Bernoulli distribution with p equals one half, and the MSE is minimized for. So no matter what the ketosis, we get a better estimate by scaling down the unbiased estimator a little bit. This is a simple example of a shrinkage estimator. 1 shrinks the estimator towards 0. Further, while the corrected sample variance is the best unbiased estimator of variance for Gaussian distributions, if the distribution is not Gaussian then even among unbiased estimators, the best unbiased estimator of the variance may not be Gaussian distribution. The following table gives several estimators of the true parameters of the population, mu and sigma 2, for the Gaussian case. Note that the MSEs shown for the variance estimators assume I, I, D, so that the result for follows easily from the variance that is, unbiased estimators may not produce estimates with the smallest total variation. The MSE of is larger than that of or. Estimators with the smallest total variation may produce biased estimates. Typically underestimate sigma 2 by interpretation. An MSE of zero, meaning that the estimator predicts observations of the parameter with perfect accuracy, is the ideal, but is practically never possible. Values of MSE may be used for comparative purposes. Two or more statistical models may be compared using their MSEs as a measure of how well they explain a given set of observations. An unbiased estimator with the smallest variance among all unbiased estimators is the best prediction in the sense that it minimizes the variance, and is called the best unbiased estimator or MVUE. Both linear regression techniques such as analysis of variance estimate the MSE as part of the analysis and use the estimated MSE to determine the statistical significance of the factors or predictors under study. The goal of experimental design is to construct experiments in such a way that when the observations are analyzed, the MSE is close to zero relative to the magnitude of at least one of the estimated treatment effects. MSE is also used in several stepwise regression techniques as part of the determination as to how many predictors from a candidate set to include in a model for a given set of observations. Applications. Minimizing MSE is a key criterion in selecting estimators. See minimum mean square error. Among unbiased estimators, minimizing the MSE is equivalent to minimizing the variance. And the estimator that does this is the minimum variance unbiased estimator. However, a biased estimator may have lower MSE. See estimator bias. In statistical modeling the MSE representing the difference between the actual observations in the observation values predicted by the model is used to determine the extent to which the model fits the data and whether the removal or some explanatory variables simplifying the model is possible without significantly harming the model's predictive ability. Loss function Squared error loss is one of the most widely used loss functions in statistics. Though its widespread use stems more from mathematical convenience than considerations of actual loss in applications, Carl Friedrich Gauss, who introduced the use of mean squared error, was aware of its arbitrariness and was in agreement with objections to it on these grounds. The mathematical benefits of mean squared error are particularly evident in its use at analyzing the performance of linear regression, as it allows one to partition the variation in a dataset into variation explained by the model and variation explained by randomness. Criticism The use of mean squared error without question has been criticized by the decision theorist James Berger. Mean squared error is the negative of the expected value of one specific utility function, the quadratic utility function, which may not be the appropriate utility function to use under a given set of circumstances. 
There are, however, some scenarios where mean squared error can serve as a good approximation to a loss function occurring naturally in an application. Like variance, mean squared error has the disadvantage of heavily weighting outliers. This is a result of the squaring of each term, which effectively weights large errors more heavily than small ones. This property, undesirable in many applications, has led researchers to use alternatives such as the mean absolute error, or those based on the median.